Hello, this is Beamer, I guess 55 and I'm taking apart my broken PS3 controller, DualShock 3, um, the Vibrator 1 6-axis controller. These things go around like 50 bucks, and this one's broken. Uh, the left analog stick is broken internally. Some kind of... I don't know what's broken with it, but... Um, basically what's happening, I'm in a game, and... Uh, let's say it's a first-person shooter, my... This, this left analog stick controls the movement of the character so if he moves forward backward left and right the character would keep moving left no matter if I push it right forward or back he would still move left no matter what so it's stuck left somehow it's not the, the analog stick doesn't stick physically it's just internally something's wrong with it so I just unscrewed all the screws on the bottom the screws are over here and um, I've taken this apart before basically if you're going to take the shit apart, put it face down first. And then you're going to want to pull it from behind. From on, from on this side first, not on this side. Okay. So once it's lifted up, you want to pull it over these things. So lift it up. And over... A little stubborn. It's not really a good way of taking it off. You just really want to fucking take it off. The L1 button just came off. So I'm having some difficulties right here. I'll put that on a bit after. Okay, I just got this one off. This one off. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, that's not what we want. Okay. So the battery sits just right in here like this. The battery sits in there like that. And then the L2 and R2 buttons are interchangeable, and so are the these ones too. Just wondering how this goes back in. Oh, I just got it back in. Basically, you got to fill around with these. There's a certain way to put it back in. This battery keeps coming out. Uh, basically, what I want to do first is unplug this battery before I ruin it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these. L2 and R2 buttons off just by pulling them off. Gently. They just come right off. You can take the L1 and R1 buttons off too, somehow. There's a certain way to do it. Basically, let's see. Basically, you have to pull back and then up. So you pu you pull the L1 or R1 button back and then up. Okay. So that has been taken off. I'm going to take these two off. off so basically you want to pull back and up 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 go up there you go so those two are off out of the way these pads or this system should come out later I don't want to take it out now put that back in there alright so we want to take this detach this basically clips in there. Just wanna pull it out gently. It's a little stiff, it's a little stubborn. Maybe if we give it if we give it a little give, a little push. We don't wanna do that. It's a little fra fragile. 
pull it out. It's coming out slowly. Oh, okay, I got it out. Okay. It's a little stiff, but I don't want to pull too hard. Okay, so the battery comes right out. Alright. So that's the motherboard, or whatever the hell you call this shit. Oh my god, that is crazy. Holy shit. Toshiba. Huh. Toshiba. So. Let's take the basic frame out first. I don't think we can take any more out. This, uh, there's a screw here. I need to unscrew this screw right here. There's a screw right here holding it in. It's holding it on. I need to unscrew this. Oops. 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 Just be gentle here. Oh. I'm gonna strip it. Um, I'm going to put that on top of the battery so I know it's separate. Okay, so it should come up. Let's see if it's connected to anything here. It's connected to everything here, so I just want to take the whole body out. See all the action buttons. I guess the D-pad and the action buttons stay in there. They don't want to come out. Hmm, just trying to make sure there's no screws left. Oh, came out. Okay. So. It's a little weird. I don't know what the fuck this is. You can see me adjusting the brightness right now. Okay. Now that's better. So we got all the, the buttons. Oh, one just fell. Ugh. Ugh. Pull the other side. We got the top frame. Top shell. And the, the mysterious analog stick. These pads is coming off. Make sure it goes on the right way. No clue how this goes on there. I didn't. I didn't see them when they came off. They have a certain way of fitting in there. Whatever, I'll do that later. That basically goes on like that. D pads. A little weird too. Hmm. Well, we'll figure that out later when we put it back together. This comes off too. So does this. There's a lot of fucking parts in this controller. It's crazy. Okay, we don't want to damage these right here. Or this. Hmm. So it should just disconnect from it. Should be a way to disconnect it. This should come out. These are taped in there. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I guess this just lays on this. Huh. Pretty interesting. Circuit boards are fucking weird. Circuit, I never understand these things. Okay, so. Um, so, holy crud. There's no way in hell I'm figuring this shit out. I wonder if these things come off. Yep, they come right off. Left. Okay. Hmm. It's interesting, look at this. Yeah. You took it apart? Yeah, it's broken. Because the water? Yeah, the water broke at the left analog stick. Something wrong with it. I don't see what's wrong. I never understand circuit boards. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Should we close the dryer? I see a button. Oh, yeah, that's L3 and R3. Which exam is on Monday now? The button right there, that's 03. Which exam is Monday? I don't know. Is it English I hope not? 